Now we will consider the special case of a free particle. I will write it down. Special case. Three. So actually, I don't like this color. So special case. particle that means the potential is zero then the probability amplitude between x b t b x a t a is written as before so epsilon goes to zero and n goes to infinite and we have this equal to n, scale root of m, 2 pi i h but epsilon, n plus 1, times exponential, i over m, 2 epsilon h, xb minus xn square, plus x1 minus xa square so let's do the integration over dx1 first uh, integrate over dx1 we have to think about that there are n product we have n product I want to n but the coefficient is n plus 1 we have m 2 pi i h bar epsilon n plus 1 so first integral maybe we have to take into account the the square of this one because we have n integration but we have n plus one coefficient so the first for the first integration we can think we need to put this m 2 pi i h by epsilon times m 2 pi i h by epsilon is actually m over 2 pi i h by epsilon as a constant for dx1. Then, equation over dx1 involves this coefficient 2 pi i h by epsilon times minus infinite to infinite dx1 exponential i m over 2 epsilon h x2 minus x1 square x1 minus x a square and we can put it together to form The following integration. This is a uh, m over two pi i h by epsilon times minus infinite to infinite t x one exponential i m two epsilon h bar, and then we expand the old integration so x. 2 square minus 2x1 x2 plus x1 square plus x1 square minus 2 x1 xa plus xa square so we can put this together as a m 2 pi i h by epsilon dx1 exponential i m over 2 epsilon h 
2x1 square minus 2x2 plus xa x1 plus xa square plus x2 square then you can put them together as the following m2 pi i epsilon times minus infinite to infinite dx1 exponential you can put 2 out you can put this 2 out so we have epsilon h bar i m and x1 minus 2 over x a plus x2 square minus 4 over x2 plus x a square plus 2 over x2 square plus x a square It becomes m times 2 pi i h epsilon minus infinity to infinity dx1 so dx1 exponential i m over epsilon h bar x1 minus 2 x2 plus x a square plus 4 times x2 minus x a square and this part actually can be put out of the integral then we have m over 2 pi i h by epsilon and exponential 4 epsilon h bar i m x2 minus x a square times minus infinity to infinity dx1 exponential I am over epsilon h bar x1 minus 2 over x2 plus x a square and this integral is another Gaussian integral which gives pi over minus i m e epsilon h so so it becomes m times 2 pi i h by epsilon times pi i epsilon h m times exponential epsilon h bar i m x2 minus x a square so we have scale root of m 2 pi i h bar 2 epsilon times exponential 2 h bar 2 epsilon i m x2 minus x a square Now we can continue this process to integrate to over, over
over dx2. Then, so we have the original integration integrating factor m 2 pi i h by epsilon and newly obtained integrating factor m 2 pi i h bar 2 epsilon which is actually from the integration over dx1 which is obtained from and this times this integral minus infinity to infinity dx2 exponential we have 2 epsilon h bar i m x3 minus x2 square plus 2 epsilon h bar 2 epsilon i m x2 minus x a square so so we have the following formula m 2 pi i h by epsilon times m 2 pi i h bar 2 epsilon times dx2 exponential we can put them together with the common factor i m over 2 epsilon h bar then we have x3 minus x2 square plus we have 2 x2 minus xa square. <coughs> so let's calculate this part first this first on the next page so we have this f3 minus x2 square twice over x2 minus xa square which is given by x3 square minus 2 x3 x2 plus x2 square plus 1 half x2 square minus x2 xa plus 1 half xa square so we can put them together as a factor of 2 over Two x three square two x three square minus two x three x two plus this is four two x two square plus x two square minus two x two x a plus x a square so this is uh, one half three x two square. So this becomes three minus two x two x a plus two x three plus 2x3 square plus xa square and we can put 3 to out of this integral this parenthesis so 3 over 2 x2 square minus 2 over 3 x2 xa plus 2x3 plus one half x a square plus two x three square. So three over two 
we can put x2 minus 1 over 3 xa plus 2x3 square minus 1 over 9 xa plus 2x3 square plus 1 over 2 2x3 square plus xa square wow so we have 3 over 2 x2 minus 1 over 3 xa plus 2x1 square minus let's see 3 over 2 times 1 over 9 is 1 over 6 so this and this becomes 1 over 6 x a plus 2x3 square 1 half 2x3 square plus x a square so we have the following formula we have 3 over 2 x2 minus 1 over 3 x a plus 2x3 square oh no 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 total square plus we can put them together as a 6 minus x a square minus 4 x a x3 minus 4 x 3 square plus 6 x 3 square plus 3 x a square it becomes 3 over 2 x2 minus 1 over 3 x a plus 2 x 3 square plus 1 over 6 this and this becomes 2 x 3 square and minus 4 x a x 3 and this and this become what's happening plus two let's say okay I don't know what happens to this two x a square why something is wrong with this page okay yes <coughs> so it becomes 3 over 2 x2 minus 1 over 3 xa plus 2x3 square and plus 1 over 3 x3 minus xa square alright so we have we have m over 2 pi i epsilon times m over 2 pi i 2 epsilon times minus infinity to infinite dx2 
exponential to epsilon h bar of i m 3 over 2 x2 minus 3 over x a plus 2 x3 square plus 1 over 3 x3 minus x a square so we have m 2 pi i epsilon m 2 pi i 2 epsilon exponential 6 epsilon h bar i m x3 minus x a square and this integral gives the following factor scale root of 4 4 pi epsilon h bar minus i m 3 So, comes m over 2 pi i h by epsilon times m over 2 pi i h by 2 epsilon times 4 pi h pi minus i 3m times times exponential six epsilon h bar i m x three minus x a square so let's see what happens so one of the m cancels this this four will be cancelled one of the pi will cancel and we don't have this 4 pi h what's happening One of the epsilon epsilon will be cancel this and this i will cancel this and this h bar will cancel one of the can so it becomes m 2 pi i h bar 3 epsilon times exponential the 6 can be 2 times 3 so we have 2 
epsilon 3 e i m x3 minus x a square so we can continue this until dx n then then we can write down the result as the following then we have xb tb oh sorry this uh, xb tb over xa ta will become this m over 2 pi i h bar n plus 1 epsilon times exponential that's uh, the result of the path integral 2 h bar n plus 1 epsilon i m x b minus x a square however this n plus 1 Epsilon is nothing but TB minus TA. So we can put this into the here. Then we have the following. XB TB minus XA TA is M over 2 pi I H bar TB minus TA total time difference times exponential this 2h tb minus ta i m xb minus xa square so so we can think, we can think about this as a one dimensional motion over t starting with t a st ending with t b starting with x a x b then our something particle like we have this kind of motion and in the meantime t we have the following formula this is x x can be written as x a plus x b minus x a over t b minus t a t minus t a then t x t t is nothing but t b minus t a x b minus t x a which is constant then this collection action SCL is given by the following formula CL is just integrating over Lagrangian TP DT is nothing but 1 over 2 M XB minus XA tb minus ta times square tb minus ta is m over 2 tb minus ta xb minus xa something familiar right so using this class correction the probability amplitude can be written as the following tb xa ta is m over 2 pi i h bar t b minus t a exponential i over h semi class correction so this is we, can, we call this a free particle propagator If our path is a small deviation from the classical path, then we can write down the, the actual path as a classical path plus some small deviation. This is classical path. Then the, the propagator, xb, 
x a t a. We call this probability amplitude or propagator. And then, according to the original definition of the path integral exponential, i over h, t a over t b, Lagrangian t d t, and path integral. And this becomes exponential h power of i class correction plus i over h ta tb m over 2 delta square dt x over t. And we, we already know the result exponential h of i plus correction times this m over 2 pi i h bar t b minus t a so that means this integral exponential i over h t a over t b m over 2 delta x square t t delta x t is m over 2 pi i h bar t b minus t a okay so this is our main result for this path integral okay i'd like to stop for now and continue the next lecture